Hey world, I'm out here in my shop. I was just going to show you all my new mower. I've been looking around, thinking about buying a new mower, not really making a decision. And I guess God kind of thought I needed a new one, so he brought me one. Here's my uh, Husqvarna I had. My 54 inch Husqvarna. It's a pretty good lawnmower. It has a uh, 27 horse color on it. I mean 26 horse I guess. It's been cutting grass so I've been cutting a lot of grass with that mower. And uh it's getting a little bit wore out. It's got 700 and some hours. The seat's a little bit tore up on it. It still works though. I'm still running it. But uh, that one there is getting a little wore out so I needed to think about replacing it with something. So God brought me this one. He brought me the Ferris. This one here it's a couple years old that someone bought. It's a 2019. Most of the warranties are out already. It's got a roll bar on it, seat belt. It's a 61 inch deck. It's in between my 54 and my 72. I still got my 72. I ran it all day today. Cut a bunch of grass today with that. This one here has got the uh, 27 horse Briggs and Stratton, 810 cc. It's 27 horse power at 3600 RPM. So most of the time it'll probably be about 22. Cause I'll probably add or down just a little. We'll see. How much gas it burns. Only got one tank like the Husqvarna. So if it's on the other side. It's got a fuel gauge. I kind of like the fuel gauge. I will say it rides a lot better. It's pretty smooth. Pretty good to ride a little lawnmower. I'm going to have to check it all out though. And see if it's got some research that I need to find. But I mowed with it today a couple little yards. It does good. Oh, right now it's got mulching blades on it. With this mulch kit, it's blocked off. But I'm seriously thinking about redoing this. So this will be a video. We're going to redo this and make it flip up and down that mulch kit. we got to fix that deal. I don't like that. Uh-oh, time out. Okay, I guess it's got a... Uh... It's got a grease fitting right here for this, for the for the deck, for the push spindle. I guess you take this knob off here, and you raise this thing up right here, and you can get to the some stuff here in the middle. Some spindles it's got some big old pulleys on it. There's a greaser right there you can get to the, for the center one. Everything sounded good. It mowed with it today. Let's see what else did I do with it. Let's flip the seat up and show you what's underneath there. It's got a nice seat. My other mowers are ragged out. Let's yeah, see what we got under here. I don't know what these two holes are for. Wonder there was a boot over this at one time. I'll have to go see. And then there's my uh, hydraulics. Safety switch here for the brake. All kinds of stuff under there. There's the belt right there for the... It's a V belt for the... Hydro pumps. A little bit to work on down here. Batteries, mm, not too bad. You can get that out of there, I think. It's just a little battery. 
I don't even think it has headlights on this one. I don't know. I never mowed in the dark anyway. My Husqvarna's got a headlight on it. This one don't have one. That means it's probably got a small alternator system. Oh, it's got electric clutch, so it probably has a good. Uh, it probably has a big alternator system. Cause anything that's got electric clutch has the bigger alternator system. Uh, there's a electronic thing. I'll have to figure out what that is all about. It's got the big air cleaner. It's all right. I get a half price because uh, the warranties are out. Like I said, so. We'll see how she does. Might make me a Ferris fan. And it might not. It's got 22 hours now. It's probably got 23 hours on it. So we'll give it a good test. And uh, get back with you when I get a 100 hours on it. And tell you what I think about it. That sounds like a good idea to do, don't it? When I get a 100 hours, I'll give you another review say what I think about this Ferris. I may just run it for a few days. What do I do with that thing? I lost the knob. <laughs> oh, there it is. Put the knob back on real fast. set on it. <clears throat> I can sit on this and watch TV. I need to get me a TV in my shop. Sit on my Ferris and watch TV. <laughs> it's alright. It's not as it's not as big as my 72 but it looks alright. We got a cup holder over here. Gas gauge. It feels pretty good. But like I said, the front tires are kind of skinny. My Husqvarna tires are wider, a little bigger, wider than them. That's weird. These are like four inches. I think my Husqvarna's are like six inches wide. Maybe they're cheaper. Might be a little cheaper tires for the front of this. I test drove it a while ago. Drove through a bunch of mud and got mud all over it. So I went into the car wash. Then I went down and offered the guy, offered him $2,000 less than what he wanted for it. Because uh, it ain't got a warranty on it. They're all, it might have a little bit left on the suspension, but the rest of it, it doesn't. Cause, so, but he took it. I was kind of looking for a lawnmower, but I didn't want to spend a, bunch of money on one this one here still cost me enough so anyway i'll make this short get off here we'll give you a ferris review here in about 100 hours talk to y'all later it's a uh oh, i'll tell you what size it is before i get off here it's a uh is 700 z 700 z whatever that means I wonder what the IS stands for. Anybody knows, leave me a comment at the bottom what the IS stands for. I like the uh, the foot pedal to raise the deck up and down and the pinholes to set it. I like that. Alright, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Subscribe. Share it. Like it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.